Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our daily devotional, This Day with God. So the title of our daily devotional this morning is The Destiny of Eternity. And our key text is found in the book of John 6, verses 63 to 69. It says here, It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. From that time, Many of his disciples went back, and walked no more with him. Then said unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. All the people who truly believes in Jesus Christ will win the prize, which is the everlasting life when he comes again, because his words is our salvation the spirit, and also the life. And we must remember, mga kaigsunan, that only Jesus can lead the way to the everlasting life. To those who obey the word of God is the tree of life. It is the word of salvation, receive unto eternal life. Those who follow its teachings eat the flesh and drink the blood of the Son of God. And on the effect which these words produces on us depends our destiny for eternity. It is possesses the elements necessary for the formation of a perfect character. The Christian is appointed to connect with God in such close relationship that his life is bound up with the life of Christ in the eternal life of God. In his wonderful prayer, Christ said, Neither pray I for this alone, but for them I also which shall believe on me through their word. John 17.20 This takes in all who believes the gospel that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, and they also may be one in us, that world may be believed that thou hast sent me. Our unity and love for one another are the credentials by which we testify to the world that God has sent his Son to save sinners. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one, I and them, and thou and me, that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know thou hast sent me and hast loved me as thou hast loved me every time i read this statement it seems almost too good to be true but i receive it and believe it and i thank god for his full abundant promises given on conditions that we met the standard of the righteousness of christ the word of life is that by which the christian is to live from his word, we are to receive a continually increasing knowledge of truth. From it, we are to gain light, purity, goodness, and faith which works by love and purifies the soul. It is given us that we may be redeemed and presented fruitless before the throne of divine glory, wondrous victory gained by Christ in man's behalf. And before this video and mga kaigsunan, I want to share this to you. Keep working and following Jesus Christ because as you follow him you will walk to the darkness and narrow road but at the end God is waiting for you shall we pray Father God in heaven Lord we thank you for this wonderful day we thank you also for giving this opportunity to be an instrument to reach the unlying Lord thank you for guiding us and guiding us always Lord and may you bless all the viewers and answer their prayer. And forgive us for our sins. In the loving name of Jesus, pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. 